almost 8 o'clock on what, Tuesday I guess it is, or whatnot. Well, what's the use of uh, structural integrity and uh, policing if they can't protect the people with inland security or whatnot if we're working with the United States of America in most practice and training situations as well? RCMP are excessive force in spraying people and insinuating they're insane or whatnot because they're poverty, because they can't control the society properly and having too many people moving in this country and fluctuating the jobs that uh, are needed for Canadian citizens so they can work and not be on assistance and causing them grief by uh, aggravating them with uh, such things as maces or not being able to find jobs because uh, other people are taking their jobs because they want to uh, make their lives even mis more miserable or whatnot, or uh, causing the inflation of society to uh, outcome over 20 years from the age of uh, 19 to the age of 40, that's so fucking outrageously ridiculous, so people cannot afford to live in it, which is intent to harm, knowing it's going to cause physical and psychological breakdowns on people because they can't afford to live in society because they're too poor to do so, that uh, may prevent death, or injury to a human being, there is, uh, those are criminal codes, meaning uh, you're uh, causing more harm than good. No difference than a doctor and their needles or pills that causes more harm than good, which is a weapon in the real world. Walking down the street, beat cop gets stabbed with a needle of heroin or whatnot, or 10 cc's of air, whammo. Therefore, dead. It is a weapon. Any drug a doctor gives you is a weapon. If it brings you more harm than good. Putting somebody in jail is not necessarily good either because they come out unhappy or not being able to fit in society again because of discrimination because they can't do stuff properly. No difference than living on social services. Oh, yeah. RCMP get their man every time. Why? Insinuations. They force a person down that tunnel into the fish trap or through the maze of rats and uh, make you into what they want you to look like. Well, great, eh? Forcing situations, intent to harm knowing, trap-like and baiting people with intent to harm. Great justice system. They're taking the slaves and made their own world so they can make high wages and uh, made people into what they're trying to be when it's not really there. They call that uh, protection. Don't think so. Call that intent to harm knowing, causing bodily harm. Criminal offenses, man. Nobody can live a proper, just life because there is no protection. And they put fear in you because they got guns, they got maces, they make lots of money, and not only do they got 30,000 troops standing around, they got uh, another 30,000 old guys who used to work for them bringing harm to you as well. Like the mayor of Courtney and his ignorance too. What do they have? Probably running around with a bunch of chemical lobotomies. Hey? If you're not real human, you don't have a real brain, you don't have a sense of feeling or drive, then there's no point. Oh yeah, update on that needle they gave me in the hospital. Muscle tone's going down and uh, feels like I'm getting weaker almost by the month. Great. Murdered by this needle up at the hospital, hey? Cause of psychological damaging because you can't lift your weights anymore that you used to do for fitness. And uh, you find it hard to stand up because your back hurts all the time. More so than before. Testosterone deficiency, weight gain, depression, paralysis, sore backs, teeth, bone density breakdown, everything I'm going through right now, no energy to do nothing. I remember the first time I took my first shot of testosterone, and for the three months, 
I had more energy than I ever had. After that, same thing. I had more energy than I ever had and needed. I needed all that energy so I could work a full day of work without feeling, what is it called? Huh. Like I had to sit down every 15 fucking minutes? That's right. Fucking up the world, doctors. Intent to harm. Bunch of Nazis, like I said. Anybody pre-World War I is a Canadian. After that, well, we don't know if you're here for an intent to harm afterwards or not. And what ally or enemy you were working for. Oh, ally could be mean enemy as well, eh? Coming here to uh, destroy people. So, uh, more retards can come here and hurt more people. Right. What a world, eh? Fucked up. Protection, eh? Don't think so. Overpaid people. Oh, you want people to know how you feel. Whatever. When you're a security guard, you have people come up and hug you too because, oh, you're a security guard? You're so tough. Let's give you a hug on duty. Yeah. That's real good too, eh? Fuck. It just doesn't work like that. It was the last time you gave someone with a hug in your gun with your gun on. Chances are you won't let somebody that close. They might grab it, take it out of your holster. BAM! Then it goes off. Then you're in real shit. Crazy world. Isn't it? Insinuation? Nah. You don't know anybody. At all. You force the situation. It's all false. 